Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. did you bring? Hi, this is Vincent Reyes. Well, hi. Thank you guys so very much for joining us today on the Valder BB Show. And I was told that we're going to talk about colon, uh, the American Cancer Society bringing information about colon cancer awareness. Is that correct? Correct. All right, then. Well, March is being National Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, I'll start with you, doctor. Why don't you set the medical platform for us? Because I heard there's some new advances in getting your colon screening. There's a lot going on. So you set the medical platform. What oh, is colon cancer? Yeah, good question, Valder. So March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and you're absolutely right. It's, um, a lot has happened over the past uh, several years. We know that one in 20 people in their lifetime will be afflicted by colon cancer. And of those, one in seven will be diagnosed before the age of 50. And when it does occur, it happens more advanced, more aggressive, and we know that those people can have some pretty bad symptoms like bleeding, abdominal pain, uh, nausea, vomiting. And it's at that point where you need to be really uh, vigilant about your own care and own health to make sure you tell your doctor about this, to see them, to take care of it right away. And what, do, what role does your, uh, I'm sorry, I missed your guest name. What role do you play in telling us about colon cancer awareness? Um, I'm Stacy Hurt. I am a survivor of stage four colon cancer. Uh, my battle continues, um, but I partnered with Genentech today to get my story out in the hopes that I can help others know the signs and symptoms of colon cancer, know their risk factors, and not to ignore either and get screened, hopefully, or hopefully at a, a, an earlier age. Uh, How did you find out from your doctor that you had colon cancer? Well, I was having the symptoms that Dr. Ray has mentioned. I was having uh, abdominal pain, blood in my stool, uh, fatigue, cramping for several months that, frankly, I just ignored because I've been um, sort of an athlete and health conscious person my entire life. Uh, but when, in fact, the symptoms became too severe to ignore, I, I went to my doctor and she ordered a colonoscopy. And unfortunately, I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer on my 44th birthday. And um, I was shocked, devastated. It was the last thing that I expected. And um, I have two young sons, one of whom is severely disabled. And I knew that I had to beat this disease and uh, they need me, they need their mother. And so I just went into fight mode. Together with Dr. Reyes, I developed a plan that included chemotherapy, radiation, and two back-to-back -back surgeries to where 18 months later, uh, I am disease-free today. Uh, my battle continues with more chemotherapy, but to go from where we were, cancer in four places in my body, to today, uh, I'm just really happy and just celebrating life. Thank you for sharing your story and blessings on your journey. <laughs> Dr. Reyes, is her story... Um, Shocking, or is it is it kind of almost routine? I hate to use that word. <laughs> well, you're absolutely right. We're seeing more and more like Stacy all the time, and the reason why is because she's empowering herself. She is doing things that she can take care of her body. She's doing things to take care of this. And what happens is a little luck is involved, but the therapies are getting better for colon cancer treatments. I'm actually pretty amazed that that, that we have all these things we can use from monoclonal antibodies to 
surgery to radiation, not just your typical chemotherapy where people think, oh, I'm just gonna be throwing up, lose my hair, it's gonna be horrible. We have a lot of better ways to treat this and more personalized too. So is Stacy's case um, unique? Well, it's unique to her, but it's becoming more commonplace every day. Where would you, could you talk just a little bit about the recommendations for colonoscopy? Yeah, it's a good question. So the, the typical recommendation is everyone should get a colonoscopy at the age of 50. And if you have a first degree relative, like a mother, a father, a sister, a brother with colon cancer, you should get it 10 years before that. So if your mother had colon cancer at age 35, you should get it at age 25. But the big thing here is you have symptoms, don't ignore it. Now, I wish I never met Stacy, but I think that if we can avoid cases like that and she can be seen sooner, maybe we can avoid it where you even have to give chemotherapy. So that's why you have to be your own advocate to see a doctor right away when you have symptoms. And one more before I let you go, where do you recommend they go online and find out more information? Uh, we're recommending that they go to fightcolorectalcancer.org for more information. And again, uh, if there are any questions, go see your doctor. Talk to your doctor. Find a doctor that you like and you trust and you can work with because you'll be seeing a lot of them. And uh, stay positive. I think that's the best information I've had all day for my audience. I want to thank you guys for coming and talking about this subject during Colorectal Awareness Month. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you.